Hi guys, Rob here and welcome to part two of my guide to accommodation here in Bentayne Island. So my first video going to my favorite top 10 places to stay, plus my highly recommended hotels here in Bentayne Island. So at the end of this video, please check that out. So in this video, I'm gonna show all the accommodation that just didn't make it in that first list. Now there's some real hidden gems still in this list as you'll see. And if you're looking for some budget accommodation or some long-term stays, this also is the video for you. So let's get to it. On Bentain Island, most of the accommodation options are located in the bottom left corner in the town of Santa Fe. That's where the beautiful beaches are located. So this first place is a relatively small place, an unassuming hotel located here on the map. And I'm checking out Bale Nijiki here in Bentain Island. I'm on the first floor here, which gives you a fantastic view of the ocean, which I'm going to show you in a sec. We're going to check out this whole place in more detail. As you can see, it's just meters away from the beach and it's also walking distance to Santa Fe town. So I just wanted to show you the lounge area that they have at the start of the corridor. So it's got the neon lights out here. So also there's a water dispenser, you can get hot water, so you can have a coffee or tea or something here. Just chill out on the chairs or table. You can do your internet here. The Wi-Fi isn't too great on this floor. It's better down at the lobby. Even then it's pretty slow really. It's got 10 rooms and the place has been renovated since I last came here and it's a definite improvement. So this is the ground level floor rooms and they're not too bad, but the ones above are a little bit nicer. So these are the rooms on the first level. They're modern, nicely styled. The rooms have aircon, a small cable TV. These rooms have a balcony with a semi view of the ocean. The bathroom is a little bit small, but it was modern and clean. So overall, I think this place is a decent option for an affordable place in Bentayne Island. They have a Facebook page, which you can contact them through. They also can be booked through third party sites like booking.com and Airbnb. Sunrise Beach Club Resort is a beachfront resort and it's actually just next door to the other hotel I just showed. It has its own garden compound area and it has six rooms including a two bedroom house, a one bedroom house and four single units. It has a concreted wall facing the beach and there is a gate in the wall that you can access the beach. There's some shady cottages to laze under. As you can see there's a bit of a garden area and it looks quite nice. Nothing flashy though, just something to enjoy the beach ambience. So the rooms here are pretty simple. The units look decent enough. I only visited this place, so this is just my initial impression. The rooms came with aircon, cable TV. The bathroom had hot and cold water showers. The one bedroom house, good for up to four people, had cable TV, mini bar. It also has hot and cold water showers. The two bedroom house can accommodate up to six guests. They have a Facebook page where you can contact them direct. This is their calling card and they have a website that you can book directly on. As you can see on screen, rates for the various room types. You can also book through third party sites such as Airbnb and Agoda. Steve Rena Cottages used to be called Bentain Cottages and is located just off the highway, quite close to the pier. To one side there are a few cottages. The standard cottages are good for two and there's also a cottage good for up to six people. They're just basic rooms with aircon. There's also Wi-Fi. The bathroom was simple as well, and you just get cold water showers. The main house has the backpackers rooms located upstairs. These are simple fan rooms. So as you can see, very minimalistic, basically just a bed, fan, and wardrobe. These rooms had a shared bathroom, again, with cold water showers. No thrills, but decent enough. There's a communal balcony for guests to hang out. There's also a little garden area with a couple of cottages. So if you're looking for cheap accommodation in Bentayne Island, these are pretty good value. You can book this via third party sites such as Agoda and Booking.com, but it's cheaper to go direct with them and you can contact them through Facebook. Althea Beach Resort is right on the beach. This is a budget two star resort. I only visited the place, so these are just from my observations. They only had the standard room that I could view and I would describe it as really rustic. The bathroom was pretty basic as well. For me, probably not my cup of tea, but it may suit some people. There's also a restaurant on site. Here's some of the food that they offered. I like how it's located on the beach. It is elevated on a concrete wall though. So if you're looking for something cheap on the beach, this may suit you. You can contact them through Facebook and prices are shown. They can also be booked on third party sites like Agoda and Airbnb. And here's a picture of what the other room looked like. JRN's a new pension house. It's a multi-level building, just walking distance to the beach. It offers some modern rooms, complete with cable TV, aircon, and Wi-Fi. This room here is good for four people. It's clean, but it's a simple room. 
It was a decent size and above the door area was a cable TV. And they had two showers in this one. Hopefully when you shower you're not too shy in front of other people. There was a little kitchenette outside. It wasn't finished when I visited but it should be now. The first floor and above do give you views of the ocean. This room is good for two. Again not too bad at all. And it came with the same facilities. This room had a hot and cold water shower. Everything here is pretty modern. So this is the rooftop area. They said at the time of my visit they were going to have some chairs and tables out here. As you can see it has some great views of the ocean. Overall it looked like a decent place to stay. You can contact them via Facebook. The rates as shown. They also can be booked on third party sites like booking.com. Anahal Seaside Inn is next. And you may remember this place as the Nordic Inn if you're familiar with Bentain Island. It's been renovated since then and it's definitely an improvement as you can see. It's walking distance to the beach. Breakfast was included in my room rate. The double rooms are a little bit small but are neat and tidy. They come with cable TV, aircon and Wi-Fi. The bathrooms also have been renovated. It is a little bit small but again everything else associated with the bathroom was nice. This is another double room pretty much identical to the other, just the bed on the other side. I thought it was a nice place to stay for the price. I was able to access the Wi-Fi from my room. You can book on third party sites and they also have their own website as well as a Facebook page. Today I'm checking out Beach Placid Resort just behind me here. Now this is right next door to Annika Island Resort as well, which I did, or well, hopefully by the time you watch this, I've done a video review already of it. But anyway, today we're checking out this one and we're gonna see if it's worth staying at. Undeniably located on a beautiful beach in Bentain Island, which when you've got good weather, it looks postcard-like. It has its own restaurant. The food here though was so-so and that goes for the breakfast as well. So these are the beachfront rooms. They're the family ones and the one I'm staying at is room nine. This is the beachfront duplex room. It's good for four people with aircon and cable TV. I stayed in one of their beachfront triplets, which is good for two people. It's a little small, but it comes with aircon, satellite TV, mini bar. The room was okay, nothing fancy though. The bathroom was a little bit small and it had a little bit of wear and tear. They also have some non beachfront, simple type of rooms with aircon and satellite TV. The bathroom came with hot and cold water showers. And this is another one of their non beachfront room types. Again, the rooms are okay. So overall, this is a more budget friendly resort without any of the bells and whistles. But for me personally though, I liked Annika Island Resort next door better, but it is pricier. Both resorts share the same beachfront, but Annika is a step up. It offers nicer rooms, better restaurant, but of course you pay more. Beach Placid is more of those average run of the mill type resorts. You can check more information on Beach Placid's own website. They show prices and amenities of all the rooms. They're also on third party sites such as Agoda and they have their own Facebook page. Hi guys, I just want to interrupt and give you a plug for one of my other videos. If you're looking for things to do and see in Bentain Island, I have done a three part guide on the best of Bentain Island and there's gonna be some things you have not seen before. So I'll put up a link here. I'll also put up a link at the end of the video if you wanna check that out. But let's get back to the accommodation guide. The next one is a little Airbnb place and it's just out of town a bit, down past the ruins. And on screen, it's that two story white house. So the apartment you get is on the lower level. The owner actually lives upstairs. Although the owner doesn't get in your way, I only actually saw the owner when I checked in and he greeted me. And the rest of the time, I had privacy and the time to myself. Hi guys, Rob here and today I'm coming from Pang Pang Beach apartment. This is booked through Airbnb. You can see I've got this huge veranda that overlooks the ocean just over there. As you can see, it's got a green front yard. So you can actually access the beach through here. There's a carved stairwell through some rocks. <laughs> got the this really friendly dog follows me around everywhere. So this is the beach area where you can actually swim. It's a bit rocky, but it is sandy underneath there. You just up the balcony at night time and today is a clear night and you can see all the stars. It's just fantastic. I don't know if I can capture that on my camera though. I did walk down to the ruins that night and hopefully you can see what I mean with a clear night. You can see all the stars. So basically I've got this 
ground level or to myself upstairs as the owner. It opens up to a living area and kitchen. Good size area, that cable TV. The kitchen comes with all the amenities to cook and eat with. Stove, microwave, complimentary water and all the cutlery you could possibly need. The kitchen and the living area only has a fan. As you move towards the bedrooms, there's actually two bedrooms and two bathrooms. This is the main bedroom area. And just to mention, there is Wi-Fi here too, which speeds are okay. And there's aircon in the bedroom. This is the bathroom. The shower water was lukewarm though. So this is the second bathroom and the second bedroom. I thought the place was pretty good. You can book this via Airbnb. So this place is a little bit difficult to find. It's at the end of a street and you have to walk through this basketball court and it's right out there on the beachfront. Mac Est is a little place with three rooms right on the beachfront. It's a nice little spot actually, not too far out of town. So I booked this room. It's a bit rustic, but decent for the price you pay. It had aircon, Wi-Fi, TV though only had local channels. There was a little sink on one side. This is the view you get of the beach. The bathroom was a little small and came with cold shower only. The day I stayed here, the beach looked gorgeous and you can see the images just reflect this. So you can just walk out and you're onto the beach. This is a fan room, it's 1000. So cheap and bare to the bones. And use a common CR. This is room three. It offers a little bit more in facilities such as a mini bar and satellite TV. It's their best room here, but keep in mind it is a budget hotel. At the front, there's a small sink. The bathroom in this one came with hot and cold water shower. This is the layout of the resort, and they also had a little store for snacks. So it's a family run place, nothing fancy about it. It provides cheap, no frills beach accommodation if that's what you're looking for. They're on Airbnb or you can contact them via Facebook. Smacks Hotel is located in Santa Fe Town. As you walk in, on the right is a shady area to sit down and it's also where you have your breakfast. At the back is where the rooms are located. On the ground level they have two apartments, more suited probably for longer term stays. Apartments come with two bedrooms. As you can see, it's roomy, it's tidy and it's a nice looking place. These apartments come with two bedrooms this is the first bedroom with its own bathroom, hot and cold water shower. On screen is the second bedroom, again nice and clean. And here's its bathroom, also with a hot and cold water shower. This is the kitchen area with facilities to cook and eat with. There's also a fridge. It's a really decent place. Gets a thumbs up from me. I stayed upstairs in one of their hotel style rooms. These rooms are nice and spacious and clean. Now the TV only had Netflix, which I didn't actually get time to check out. The bed was nice and comfortable and they also had a balcony, a nice place to relax. The bathroom is good, modern and clean, it had hot and cold water shower. At the front of the rooms they had a water dispenser. For me, I enjoyed my stay, it's a good mid-ranged hotel. You can contact them via Facebook, they can also book through third party sites like booking.com and you can see the prices when I stayed. They also can be booked on Airbnb. Check them out. NNF Guesthouse provides some affordable accommodation in Santa Fe Town. It's a multi-level building, walking distance to some of the restaurants in town, as well as walking distance to the beach. The rooms are decent, satellite TV, aircon, and Wi-Fi. Most rooms come with a balcony, but not all. And depending on which way your room faces, you may be able to get a good view or a street view. The bathroom is clean with cold water showers. This is a room good for two, decent but no frill rooms. The balconies facing the east have the best views as you can get some semi views of the ocean. Anyhow, this place is not too bad. Good location as far as walking distance to most things. Affordable rooms. They're on third party sites or you can contact them through Facebook. Diagonally across the road is RR Lodging House. Not sure if you pronounce that like a pirate would. But anyway, they have a number of cheap rooms available. This room was good for two and the rooms are pretty clean, although they are a bit dated. Had aircon, it had a sink and cable TV. The shower had cold water, and as you can see, it was a fairly small bathroom. This is one of their fan rooms, good for two. The fan rooms are starting from 500, very basic rooms. Just another one of their fan rooms. Pretty bare to the bone, but very affordable. Now these fan rooms had a shared bathroom downstairs. 
just the basic bathroom with cold water showers. This aircon room is good for four. The room is obviously a little bit bigger. Same amenities, small bathroom with a cold water shower. This is the other aircon room, good for four people. All simply furnished, but pretty affordable. Bathroom was a bit larger again and came with a cold water shower. Just a bit further down the road was another building. On the downstairs area was a place to eat and sit. Upstairs was the room. This room was a bit more nicer than the others and offered a lot more space. It came with two beds, good for four people. At the back was a kitchenette with dining table. Looking back to the front door, you can see how large the room is. The bathroom was decent enough with cold water shower. Outside there's a balcony to sit out on. And at the end of the road, you can just make out the beach. RR Lodging offers some affordable accommodation. They're on third party sites like Expedia and Agoda. They also have their own Facebook page, rate shown at the time of making this video. Another option for a budget place to stay, which is in town, is on their guest house. So it offers six budget rooms with balconies, a mix of aircon and fan rooms surrounding this small garden area. So this is the aircon room, just basic rooms, very rustic. They do allow to add an extra person or rather an extra mattress. The bathroom had cold water showers. There's also a communal kitchen. These are the contact numbers and they have a Facebook page with prices as shown. And his rest house is just meters away, a small family run place with some affordable rooms. I was only able to check out one of the rooms due to the guests. This one is the aircon room, good for two people. For the price, it's not too bad at all. The bathroom had cold water showers. You can contact them via their Facebook page. Price is shown and you can also check out their other room types. This is their calling card that they gave me. Country Corner Guest House, as the name suggests, is on a corner above a cafe. It's the same owner as the one at Inde Beach Resort, which you can see in my previous video, if you want to check out that resort. Anyhow, this is another affordable guest house in Santa Fe. Again, no frill rooms with no TVs. It does offer modern clean accommodation, and the rooms also come with a balcony. There's also free Wi-Fi. The bathrooms looked okay too, with hot and cold water showers. Downstairs at the cafe, you can get a nice breakfast. They are on third party sites, such as booking.com and Agoda. At the time of making this video, I couldn't get rates on those third party sites. They are also on Facebook with rates and other info shown. The Victorian is a boutique hotel in the style of a Victorian mansion located on the highway. It offers some nice affordable accommodation. They were clean and had cable TV, aircon. They did tell me the Wi-Fi may not reach the rooms and it's best downstairs. The bathroom had hot and cold water showers. They have their own webpage which you can check out their rates and facilities. They also can be booked through third party sites such as Agoda and they have a Facebook page if you want to contact them directly. They were showing a couple of promos they were offering at the time. I call it Beach House is a family run place where they rent out some rooms. For me, it goes down as one of the most friendly places I stayed in all of Bantayan. They've got parking out front. They have a swimming pool, but it does feel like it's been squeezed into fit. You're only a couple minutes walk from the beach and they do also rent out kayaks. The little blue one is 150, the green one is 350 and the pedal boat is 400. Okay, all for three hours? Yes, yeah. Okay. So this is the room I stayed. I thought it was really nice and comfortable. It was a good size with two beds. To one side they had all the cooking facilities, cutlery, pots and pans, etc. There's cable TV and you have your own Wi-Fi. The bathroom is clean with a hot and cold water shower and I really enjoyed staying here. They do have a few different room types which you can see on Airbnb and they also have a Facebook page. In Santa Fe another budget option is Captain Daddy made up of two buildings and they do have a common dining area. What you get here is some no frills budget rooms. This room is good for two. The ground level rooms come with a sink, which is not available to upstairs. Simple bathroom, cold water showers. The family rooms are good for all six people and come with a mini bar and sink. This is the first bedroom with a bunk and a separate bed. And this is the main bedroom. The bathroom came with a cold water shower. Looking at booking.com, they didn't have the rates at time of looking. You can check out their Facebook page. It does have their latest rates. Arnold's Hotel in Santa Fe. They did tell me they're up for sale. So things may change a little from this video. They have 15 rooms in total. This is a standard room good for two people. Pretty small, but new. Cable TV, 
aircon and Wi-Fi. It was a small bathroom, but other than that, all good. This is their family room, good for four. They said four fit in the bed, so I'm not sure how that works. This room's obviously a bit larger. This is a super deluxe, good for eight people, which again, I think is a bit tight for eight people, but that's just my two cents. Other than that, the place seemed fine. This room is good for six. Again, the same facilities as the other rooms, just the size of the room and the beds were different. They're available on third-party sites like booking.com and they also have their Facebook page, Rates Are Shown. Another affordable beach resort is Northville. It's a smallish resort just outside of Santa Fe town. It's got a pleasant feel to the place with a fountain and pond. The greenery makes it a nice shady area to escape from the tropical sun. It's right on the beach. It was a bit windy the day I visited. You can chill back on the beach, on the chairs. There's cottages for rent and there's also a restaurant on site. This room is good for two people, aircon, cable TV, and just the basics. Small bathroom with cold water shower. This is a family room, good for six. Not too bad for the price. Certainly some colorful rooms here. It came with a small bathroom with cold water shower. This room is good for three people. Fairly much the same as the other rooms, except for the color scheme. On screen is another room, good for two. Pretty decent, simple room. And this one is another brightly colored room, good for three people with aircon and cable TV. Overall, not too bad for an affordable place. Simple, but colorful rooms. You can book through third-party sites, or you can contact them directly through Facebook. Price is shown in the bottom right-hand corner. DGC Guest House Resort is another cheap beachfront resort next door to Bujong. It has its own restaurant, and they barbecue food here. The rooms are a bit rustic. These are the beachfront rooms. Just simple, with aircon and cold water showers. These other rooms are a little bit back. Again, simple aircon rooms. No TV. The shower was cold water. They said there's free Wi-Fi. They also have a bunk room, which is good for 10. They can be booked on Agoda, but I couldn't find the rates at the time of making this video. They also have a Facebook page that you can contact them on. Rates shown in the bottom right-hand corner. There's still a ton of accommodation options to show, which you'll see in the next video. In the meantime, you can check out some of my other videos I've done on Bentayne Island. As I mentioned before, the best of Bentayne Island. Just click on one of the videos on screen now. If you found this video helpful, please consider to subscribe, as I will be doing more videos like this in the future. Until then, keep safe out there, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.